Amazingly, the 15th flight is completed. Here is the direction of that flight and the direction of the color camera which is shown with triangles. And here are the last 5 pictures featuring landing. But where? Here I wanted to share the process of how I found the exact location of the landing. Let's inspect the picture number 1 and discard the others because others have a more limited field of view. The picture is quite bright and it's hard to see anything. I'll use a filter to make it clearer. Now let's draw a shape to make it even more prominent. The black and white images always have this lag in the upper right of the frame and the color camera is facing opposite to the lag. That's how ingenuity is constructed. We already know the direction in which the color images were taken. That should translate to the right orientation of the shape. And after looking for this shape with this orientation for about 2 hours, I understood the flaw in my logic. I assumed the orientation of the color camera during the flight is the same as during the landing. I forgot that right before the landing the chopper often changes its orientation, this way getting ready for the next flight. I had to pay less attention to the shape and concentrate more on these outcrops. There are some outcrops in this area. Now I have three things to work with. The shape without correct orientation, the outcrops and these two rocks. And there's the shape. Also, I realized that Flight 9, here in white color, must have captured this landing site from a different perspective. Here is the picture from the Flight 9. Let's use the filter again. Here is the shape. And here is where the helicopter landed. Now you know how to find landing sites of Mars helicopter based solely on navigation images. You're welcome and have a great soul.